Omicron could be the dominant coronavirus variant in Europe by mid-January, according to EU officials. The strain is already impacting the UK. Since the start of the pandemic, the country has seen 11 million COVID infections and more than 147,000 deaths. CBS News contributor Simon Bates has more for this week's London Calling. And as always, Simon's opinions are his own, not necessarily reflecting CBSN. Russia in England. And once again, the empty seats tell their own story because this country is now awash with the Omicron variant and it's racing through the population even faster than the scientists predicted. Leading the fight against this unwelcome visitor, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, seen here on a morale-boosting visit to a London vaccination centre. Meantime, out came the old orders, work from home if possible to minimise contacts with others and wear a mask indoors to stop the virus spreading. Advised by the country's finest brains, Mr Johnson told us all to take a step back and take the new variants seriously. And it's pretty obvious that most of us have done just that. He told us to prepare for a tidal wave of infection with predictions of a million cases by the end of the month and immense stress placed on our health care service. We've been told to brace ourselves for a difficult four weeks, but are we all overreacting? Some doctors in South Africa, where Omicron was first detected, think so. They say infections are mild and they can't understand what the fuss is all about. Still, here in Britain, our leaders are taking no chances. Cynically speaking, some of his opponents think that the variant's arrival couldn't have been better timed for our Prime Minister, assailed as he is with accusations of dishonesty and untruthfulness. Eyes to the right, 440... And around 100 legislators in his own party staged a series of rebellions in Parliament to show him just how much they disapproved of his temporary curtailment of our civil liberties. But most Britons seem grateful for the realistic warnings of what might happen. Many are looking for even more restrictions. So, a virus that's spreading through the country at breakneck speed and a Prime Minister who's losing his authority. That's an unfortunate combination, isn't it? And that's London Calling for today. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in Devon.